Hi guys, it's Brittany here at It's Hard Work. And as you can see from the title, we are going to be redoing book bins today. Okay, so just to get right into it, I've got these book bins that I got, um, actually were donated to me last year. And I just kind of took them as they were um, you know how they come in primary, if you're a teacher, you know they come in primary colors or secondary colors, which for me didn't match my classroom decor because I kind of got out of the bright classroom decor and more into like the neutrals and like beiges. And so I got them last year and what I did to make them look like match my decor more. I found some four inch fabric from, or ribbon from Joann's. I cut it up into strips and then I added on these um, adhesive square label pockets from Target's dollar spot. They were actually $3 for 20 of them. I added those on and then I created my own numbers through just like Microsoft Word and found a background and put you know, numbers on them and I stuck them inside of there. And so these became book bins for my afternoon class students to hold their books, their math book, their binders, whatever they needed for when they were in my class and we put them into cubby shelves. Um, I wanted them to match because I didn't like the fact that I have actually a bunch of different colors. So I have all these colors and actually more like orange, uh, dark blue, whatever. And I wanted them to coordinate. Well, what's happened over the years, you know, this is all well intended, but as you can see, this is flapping up and um, I just kind of want the look to be a lot more clean. So what I'm going to do is instead of leaving them like this, okay, I'm going to actually spray paint them. And so what I did was I went to the store, I purchased some primer. This is actually, the primer is a Krylon brand Color Master Primer, just white primer. Um, it sticks to plastic, which is the biggest thing. So, and it dries quickly. So I bought some primer, and then I bought two different colors that I wanted to change the book bins into. So this one is called Satin Smoky Beige. And uh, again, they highlight that it bonds to plastic, but this is Rust-Oleum. And so you can see the color is a very light, light beige, so super neutral. And this other one's a little more jazzed up, but that's me when it comes to some things with classroom decor. So this is called Satin Nickel. Sorry, there it is, Satin Nickel. And this is also by Rust-Oleum. It's their metallic version. It's got paint and primer, but I'm still gonna prime the bins that I'm gonna uh, spray paint this color. And you can see the color is kind of like a, it's got a little bit of sparkle to it, um, a little bit of shine to it, but it's like a gray. So I thought these two would be perfect for my classroom because my classroom is pretty neutral that way and I'm probably gonna keep it like that. Whether or not I add different pops of color, it will still be basically neutral grays or beiges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the primer, I'm gonna prime first. I've got about 30 book bins. So my plan is to prime them first and then do 15 of the book bins in this color and 15 in this color. And my hope is that because I'm not doing so many that I can spread it out and make it, you know, make all this go the whole way. And if it doesn't, then I'll just go ahead and buy some more uh, spray paint. But that's my goal. And then at the end of it, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of repurpose these these labels, stick them, take them off and then stick them right to the front of the book bin. And then that will be it. So we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping that it goes really, really well. I'm hoping uh, that it doesn't take that long either. So we'll see. I'm gonna take everything outside and go ahead and get started. What I'm doing here is I am just laying out the book bins on a blue tarp that I had. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the white primer. So my focus in spray painting these with the primer was to get the outside of the bin since that's the part that will be seen mostly. You can see there in the middle there is a bin that has a sticker on it and there are a couple that had stickers on them still. No, I did not take the stickers off. I tried to, it didn't come off very easily so I figured since it'll be covered anyway, I was just gonna keep them on and keep it moving. So at this point I'm spray painting, making sure that I get the outside of most of the bins there are a few bins that are pushed off to the side 
Um, and so I take those out and I'm actually spray painting those now, but kind of, I kind of panicked because I started to run out of white spray paint, but then I realized that I actually have in my house gray primer. So I decided to use some of that since the satin nickel color blended better with gray anyway. So I'm spray painting some of the boxes with the gray primer, but then I realized it would make more sense to just get the blue and the purple bins because it actually blended better with gray. I noticed that the coverage was a lot better on those bins. So I'm spray painting those bins. Again, focusing on the outside um, just to make sure that they have at least a couple of coats of primer. And so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the satin nickel spray paint. You can see that the coverage is pretty good with this. It looks pretty good, but I kind of get to a point where I'm stuck right about here. Guys, so what? where I'm at now is I am about out of the metallic and I still have a lot to do. Um, not really, like I'll show you what they look like, what the metallic bins look like. I'm spray painting the other ones in a moment, but um, I'm going to show you what they look like. They're not really, they don't look that great to me. So I'm going to have to probably do a little more, so I'm probably going to have to buy another can, which, oops, I didn't want to do, but that's okay. So I'm going to show you what they look like now. Um... So you can still see some of the like areas are showing. Um, I could even I couldn't even get the inside of most of them. Like I, I break like I barely did the inside, and you can see like it just doesn't look very good. So I was able to get pretty good coverage, but remember these have two coats of primer. They had the oopsies, the um white primer and I also found some gray primer that I showed you guys and they still don't look the greatest to me like they just need yeah they need another coat so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stop this process now let these dry and this project will be to be continued because I still got those to do and so um you know sorry um, I'm gonna stop. I gotta go to the store. I gotta get some more spray paint. So I gotta, I gotta cut it out now. <laughs> I hate it. I hate that I have to stop. But um, I'll go pick up two more cans. That should be plenty. So wish me luck. Uh, and to be continued. Okay. So. Just a little quick update. I When I ran out of spray paint, I couldn't really finish the bins. And so what I did was I went to the store and I purchased some more. It's a whole new day, by the way. I went and got two new cans, but the problem was the store didn't have the same colors as I had before. And I was too lazy to go to a different store to buy something else. So I ended up with two different color spray paints, which is okay because I, um, I think I like this one better than what the the other color, the brushed nickel or whatever, the silver grayish color that was that I had. So this is called um, Brushed Metallic. It's from Krylon and um, it's, it's a metallic spray paint. So you can see it here. And um, basically I'm going to cover over some of the gray bins with this color, maybe all of them, depending on if I really don't like the gray ones. And then I also got another uh just another neutral tan color it looks almost the same as the other color that i got so i'm hoping it doesn't look too different because i could not find i think it's called smoked it was called smoked satin <laughs> i don't know um but yeah this is as close as i could get to it but that's okay because if i don't if it doesn't look good, I, I'm okay with mixing neutrals as long as overall they look okay. They're just book bins, um, and they'll coordinate. They won't be, you know, a pink with a red with a blue. You know, I just wanted the same type of color palette with my book bins because it's, I don't like when they look, you know, they're all over the place in terms of color. So I'm going to go ahead and finish spray painting the book bins, and then come back to, 
uh, to you guys once I actually get them finished. Okay, so what I'm doing here is spreading out the bins. Um, I realized that I had the patio a little overcrowded before, so I wasn't really able to get the best coverage possible. And just a side note, please excuse my legs. In this clip, in the last one, they're there, just don't mind them. Um, but I'm getting them spray painted on all four sides, making sure that I get a good coverage. And just a tip, if you're going to do this, make sure you get a primer that is as close as possible to the final color that you're going to spray paint your book bins. The coverage um, is pretty good on this because they have about three coats of either paint or primer. And so it worked out pretty well for me to get the whole box as well as the insides. And I even had some left over to do touch ups. So the end product was really good. Hey guys, so I want to come back and show you what the final product looks like for the book bins. I actually finished them all, let them dry overnight, so it is a completely new day. So this is like a three-day project. Probably wouldn't have taken this long if I had everything I needed. But in any case, they're all finished. So I want to show you what the two colors look like side by side. I'm probably going to place them alternating on shelves in my classroom. So this is what they look like. This is the champagne color, and this is the, the tan color. So you can see here... Um, and this one, like, you can see it reflecting in the light, looks even better. I really love this color, as opposed to the brush nickel. And then this is the um, khaki or tan one, and there are some spots that, like, the paint, after I stacked the bins, it kind of chipped off a little bit. So I may have to see about sealing them, but that's not a big issue. So, um, the last thing I did was I took the, the, um, took this ribbon that I had with my old ones uh, how they were before and I took this little pocket off and I stuck it to the front of this and it already has the number in the good thing is I can take these numbers out if I need to if I want to rearrange them even odd or whatever the case is and so they turned out really pretty I am so in love with like the color of this one especially because it's a little jazzy and like I said before I love that just to give you to uh, like total cost for this project it cost me around $30 and so I spent about 20 bucks on spray paint and then I bought these last year so I, I mean I already had them but they did cost three dollars each for the pockets um, and then the numbers I made myself for free. So about $30, 26 to $30 is what I spent when you include tax and all that stuff on revamping these book bins, which to me is well worth it because I just feel at ease when I'm looking in my classroom. There's nothing worse than colors being, too many colors being mixed, and then it just creates chaos for me in my mind. So anywho, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions about anything about how I made these, let me know. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.